It's called dating for a reason. Girl, date them all. May the best man win. I didn't say sleep with them all. Date them all. Okay? Okay. We all have a story. Let your story inspire you. Inspire others. Let it be the fire underneath you. Let it, let it help your stride. You know what I was thinking? This is a great day to love yourself, appreciate yourself, affirm yourself, validate yourself, and show up for yourself. It's a great day for that. Don't you think so? Life tip. When you are around people that are for you, that genuinely care about you, your shine, your light will not intimidate them. Okay? Okay. One thing I can tell you for sure <laughs> is if you quit, nothing happens. Everything stops. Okay? Okay. Okay, so check this out, y'all. We have another shot at life to try this all over again. So what are you gonna do with today? What are you gonna do with your today? Okay, so check this out, y'all. We have another shot at life to try this all over again. So what are you gonna do with today? What are you gonna do with your today? One thing I can tell you for sure <laughs> is if you quit, Nothing happens. Everything stops. Okay. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Can y'all believe like we are already in the middle of February? It's crazy. But you know what? You still got time to switch directions, pick a direction, and figure out what you want to do still at the beginning of the year to adjust. Adjust, pivot, change, do what you need to do for you. Okay. Okay. So many people have said, girl, you are always happy and excited and this and that. You know why? I know what it feels like not to be happy. And happiness is a choice. I told myself I refuse to continue to live my life unhappy. You know what I'm saying? The things that I cannot do anything about. I got to let that stuff roll off my back. I'm not saying that I don't worry about it here and there because I'm human, but I have to make a choice to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Three steps that will help with self-improvement. And I'm sharing these because that's what helped me. So I want to share my experience with you. Number one is acknowledgement. Acknowledge that there is an issue and that there's issues that need to be addressed. Number two is accountability. Hold yourself accountable. Don't put the blame on nobody else. It's your life, it's your responsibility. Hold yourself accountable. And number three is assess the things in your life that needs to change. Write them down, prioritize them and start working on those. Three steps, that's the three steps to help improve your life. So look, check this out. Ladies, I don't know about you, but um, bro, you get one shot with me. Whatever you choose to do and not to do with that one shot, that's all on you. But you don't get a second chance. Do you know who I am? You better stop playing. Hello? Okay? Okay. I've heard people say like, oh my goodness, how can that homeless person, you know, be smiling and this and that? Joy is not dependent on a person's circumstances. Our minds and our health are the two things that we need to thrive, to go forward in life. But what's so crazy is because it's the very two things <laughs> that we seem to neglect. If something is wrong with our health, we struggle or don't want to go to the doctor. And if something is going on with our minds or, you know, the way in which we think or do things, we don't want to go to counseling. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but it happens. Let me know what you think about this. We as people, we will go outside of our homes and we'll go to like 
all these little hobby things or whatever activities that we're involved in or groups and we'll give our best selves there we'll give our best selves at work and building our businesses and all of that and then we'll go home depleted and not have anything to offer the people that put up with us none stop the people that love us the most isn't that crazy that needs to be adjusted like right now right you know i think that some people don't believe that self-sabotage and self-defeat is really <laughs> really real you can have something great in your life something going good for yourself whether it's a job or a relationship and you can literally just destroy it by your own story that you're creating in your head that's not real so check yourself before you wreck yourself okay okay hey if this is your first time checking out my channel thank you don't forget to subscribe my name is my Sheikha Ross if you are looking for videos to uplift encourage you don't forget to come back and see my videos thank you hey y'all this is thankful Thursday 10 things that I am thankful for is that I have my health and strength. I'm in my right mind. I have activity of my limbs because there are people in hospital beds that cannot get up, they cannot walk, they cannot talk. I am thankful for all my senses. I am thankful that I get to talk to you this morning. I'm thankful for my grandchildren, my children, my friends and the people that I love, that love me, that is in my life. I'm thankful that I have another shot at life. I woke up. My feet are on top of the ground. I'm thankful for God. I am thankful for this day. Thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for? Drop it in the comment. Okay? Okay. If you are a teacher, a counselor, a mentor, maybe you simply volunteer at a youth facility or agency or organization to help the youth. I just want to say you are appreciated. Those kids, they need you. They may never tell you, you may never know until further on down the line. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I had several teachers and mentors to speak into my life as a teen. And when I tell you, I didn't act on it and pay attention then, but later on in life, I held on to it. One of my mentors used to tell me when I was a teen, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And when I tell you that stuck with me and it helped, we all have flaws. We all have things that we need to work on. Nobody has just arrived. 